DJ Sly, D, DJ Sly, Tay, 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 DJ Sly, D, DJ. All right, bro, here we go, man. Before we get started, we got to get some love to our sponsors, Bel Lair. Okay. And you got to head to your favorite liquor store. Grab your favorite bottle of Bel Air and make sure that you drink responsibly. Also, I need everybody to go follow at myjetdoc. That's at M-Y-J-E-T-D-O-C. It's a virtual urgent care app connecting users with licensed medical professionals instantly. No waiting room, no insurance, and you can save up to 85% off of RX. Right now, 2021 Convo, live and direct tonight with the one and only Exotic Music, Chris. What's happening? <laughs> What's going on, brother? Yeah, you got to get one of them um, one of them sirens or something, bro. You need a siren? All right, man. You need, right, need a siren. We introducing us and shit. Introducing yeah. people on your, on, your, on your show. Get the, get the siren. I'm, I'm going to have to incorporate that, man. I'm going to have to incorporate mm -hmm. that. Definitely want to uh, thank you for taking the time out Absolutely. to get on with us this evening because I know you're a busy man cranking out beats and doing all type of other stuff, writing a rhyme for people, hooks, all that. So just thank yeah. you for uh, making time thank for you. us this evening, you know? Hey, man, I, I, man, you already know we go back. So I appreciate you for even wanting to have me on this. You know what I mean? It's another platform that you provide once again. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> As a as a as a brother and as a consumer of of of, of, of DJ Sly Tay of, of, of his world and everything he brings forth in the music business, I just want to say I appreciate you once again for creating another platform for us to speak on and tell our side of the story. You know what I mean? So shit, bro. You know anything you can say tomorrow, man? We going to damn <laughs> to feed you to do a podcast. I'm like, when we going? Let's get it. Yeah. How much tickets? Let's get it. You know what I mean? So I appreciate you. God on the truth. You know what I'm saying? You're my brother, man. I appreciate you. No doubt, man. So when we get people on, man, we always like to start with the childhood, man. Okay. Uh, tell us, well, first first of all, tell everybody where you're from. Okay, I'm from Augusta, Georgia. Um, I'm originally from the south side. It's kind of crazy because, like, on my mama's side, you know, them, them folks really from, you know, over there, like, by Glen Hills area, you know what I mean? So I grew up on that side a lot. And then on my dad's side, they from Southside Project. So I grew up out there a lot too, you know what I mean? Spent a lot of time with you know, my folks and shit. But I've actually lived in the south side of Augusta. I done lived everywhere from Cedarwood to to uh, to Backer Road to um, Sand Ridge Estates to Sand Ridge, you know what I mean? I done lived a lot of places uh, in Augusta. but So that's why I'm originally from born, uh, raised. A lot of my years there, but my dad was in the Army, too, so we was blessed enough to move. You know what I'm saying? I lived in Hawaii. I lived in Panama. I lived in um, California, New York, uh, Washington State. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I've been to a lot of places before the music even started for me. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. What, what kind of music was being played in the household as you was growing up as a kid? Uh... A lot of a lot of rap, a lot of hip hop, a lot of uh, old school, a lot of Otis Redding. It's like one of my favorite old school artists. If anybody know me, they know I sit there and play Otis Redding all day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Straight up, if you know me for real, you know I sit there. I play that before I play it's like some trap shit or some rap shit for real. I'm playing Otis Redding because it make me feel good. You know what I mean? I like music to make me feel good. I'm a, I'm very in tune. Uh, with how I feel, you know what I'm saying? Because being a creative, you gotta be, you know what I mean? So if I'm feeling, if I'm fucked up inside, a lot of times I can't create, you know what I mean? But if I'm feeling good, and I'm feeling happy inside, I'm like, man, this is, you know what I'm saying? I, it's, it's bright, it could be a bright day out the door, you know what I mean? So um, everything, I guess, affects, affects your creative abilities, you know what I mean? But me being a creative, uh, definitely, definitely um, helps. How old would you say you was when you fell in love with music? I never forget. I was 14. I was 14. I was standing in, I was standing in, um, 
No, I, I mean, yeah, I was like 14 when I fell in love with it. But when I knew I, I wanted to do it, I was 14. I was literally standing in my parents' hallway. My mom asked me what I wanted to do. And, you know, I, I'm a small stature guy. I'm not no big guy, you know what I mean? But in my mind, I just knew I was going to the NFL. I just knew. <laughs> going to the football? <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, I sucked, bro. I didn't even, I wasn't even good at football. It was just like the thing to say, what you going to do with you? Like, I'm going to the NFL. I didn't actually know what I was going to do, you know what I mean? Yeah. Until I started applying myself and, and figuring out, you know, I was actually great at music naturally, you know what I mean? Naturally, I had a natural talent. You had to learn. You had to learn. So four, 14, you said at 14, that's when you decided you really wanted to do this. What was yeah. your first piece of equipment you bought at 14? Hmm. I had this, it was a shit called EJ Hip Hop Studio or something like that. EJ Studios. Um, Is it software? Yeah, it's a software, software. And then I got that. Um, once I got the once I got the software, I was learning how to sequence. I didn't know how to actually make the beat like quick keys or whatever, but I, it taught me how to sequence. So once I figured out how to sequence my music, I figured out how to layer. So once I figured out how to layer, it was like, hey, maybe I could do this shit. I got a natural ear, you know what I mean? And then year after year, I just started getting better and better and better and better. Now you you just br you breaking down. You giving us so many gems and so many terms. And you know yeah. the audience, everybody trying to definitely understand what you're saying. What is sequence? Um, sequences is basically like, um, like whenever you listen to a song, every couple bars, someone had to actually put those in place for the song to be tracked out. So I could sequence um, drums, loops, um, uh, snares, melody, whatever. You know what I mean? And actually make them into a a sound, a actually moving pattern to what's right. actually a, a a track. You know what I mean? So once I learned how to sequence, that was it. It was over with after that. I was like, oh, I got an ear for this shit. I can do this. Now layering, what what is layering for, for those out there that want to know about that? Um layering is layering is um if you got your drums here, you know, the drums may hit. At a circuit at, at a certain frequency to where it makes your head bob, you know what I mean? Um, or it could be um, after the drums is here, maybe you want to have some type of soft pads or strings or a melodic vocal in the background to give the sound more of a to give your beat more of a, a melodic sound. So, layering you might hear a bell, but it might be in the background, you might hear the drums up front, you might hear the snares to the left, pan to the right. I has might be paying to the right, so it's just creating a, a whole world in um, your beat for for that minute or thirty or three minutes, however long you sequence your beat for. But you know, it's just creating a world um, where sounds are perfectly harmonized and in tune with one different sounds making one sound. You know what I mean? That's how you layer. That's really the definition of it. Now, did you did you learn that over over time, or did you already know that when you? First yeah, I learned that. All this shit over time, bro. You know, you've been knowing me since I was a, literally a kid, literally. So I didn't, um, I didn't go to school or nothing for this, bro. I, I, I knew I had an ear, and after that, I just started developing it and then started working towards it. Man, you learn. So you were, you were, you were out here in Augusta, man, doing your thing for a very long time, man. Yes, sir. Well, let's we gonna speed on up a little bit. What what okay. made you want to go ahead and um? to relocate to Atlanta, Georgia? Um, well, uh, just a little bit more opportunity. Like, um, in Augusta, it's a, it's a market to where you can build, but eventually you got to go out and bring back. You know what I mean? You got to go out to the – because we're, we're right there on the border. You know what I mean? We're at the South, South Carolina, and then, you know, we're on the border of Georgia and South Carolina. So – I suggest everybody get out there, go different places, go to these different markets, learn, you know what I mean, and then come back to your city, bring it back. You know what I mean? So I figured that was my only way of being able to to grow was for me to just, okay, let me go over here and see what Atlanta, because I know the Gusset, you know, I know the gatekeepers, I know the Slates, I know the the, um, the, 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 kid, the kid Joes, I know the, the Fats, you know what I'm saying? I know these people, the, the, the people who I need to know. So let me go explore and figure out more people who I need to learn and, you know what I'm saying, build relationships with. You know what I'm saying? And 
and always be able to have those relationships so in tune I can get stuff done. You know what I mean? So I yeah. mean knowing that and just me being a um a person that seek knowledge and seek, you know what I'm saying, and, and being able to just seek how to get to the next level. I always knew I had to get out of the city and just say, go explore, man. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. Just gotta go explore, gotta oh, figure it out. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Definitely nothing yeah. wrong with that. Got to, so, got to go explore. You moved to Atlanta. Uh -huh. You're out there dibbling and dabbling around. Tell us about okay. how your first month was out there in this big ocean. Um, was it, it easy was, for you uh, to connect? Was it easy for you to connect with people? Was it hard for you? It's always going to be hard for, for one, you know, I'm, I'm not like a lot of times I always say this, Augusta, we're very talented because we don't have the luxury of seeing a, um, and we're hungry and, 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 and got a lot of fire artists because we don't have the luxury of seeing a Future or a T.I. or a Jeezy or any of these guys at the gas station pumping gas, you know what I'm saying, and can handle the CD. We got to get it out the mud. You see what I'm saying? So I brought that same mentality here. I feel like artists and producers and uh, other people here were lazy because they got it because they spoiled. You know what I'm saying? Like you can get it, you can get it at the gas station. You can figure out. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it. Matter of fact, just the other day I seen um, I ran into a uh, fly who owns um, TIG at the gas station. That's uh, crazy, ironic. I just ran into him at the gas station and we chopped it up a little bit. Yo, ooh. but I already had the relationship, but. I literally ran into him at the gas station. You can't do that in Augusta. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to expand your wings in order to get where you want to go. There's nothing wrong with bringing it back to the city. I, I brought it back to the city. I went and found Bezo. You know what I mean? And, hey, brush, you got talent, bro. Come up here. He'll tell you. Come up here, bro. Come work. You know what I mean? Um, um, a lot of other art, uh, artists, Q-Dog, a lot of artists from the city that I'm working with, you know what I mean, that I figure out, like, hey, if I got the platform and the opportunity to can help you, then in tune I will. Just stay down. So, you know. Yeah. City man, we we good. Augusta's good, man. We got we got enough talent and enough know how now. I think that more people you start seeing more people pop up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now you you've been producer for a, a, a lot of different people, bro. Like mm -hmm. your your catalog is crazy now, man. And, and mm -hmm. not only that. You even got your own site to where people can go and purchase your beats, man. What made you want to take it and raise the bar to that level to do that? Uh, what's up, man? Yay. Um, I guess <clears throat> when you're making music, <clears throat> sometimes you might <clears throat> not be able to reach a consumer. <laughs> that you would like to reach. <laughs> maybe somebody that feels like <clears throat> I would want to work with Exotic, but maybe I don't have the budget. So when I created the site, I just put it up for people to be able to afford my beats that normally couldn't afford my beats. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that was really the, um, the, that was really my main basis of creating the site. And just I'm watching people make $200,000 a goddamn year off of just beats they not they wasn't gonna use or that or got passed up by major artists or you know what I mean? Did, did you just say two hundred thousand dollars a year? <laughs> yeah, just off, off of site. Online? Yeah, off online. Yeah, depending on how you depending on how you do it. It's people making that, you know what I mean? I'm not making that off off uh, off of my online site, but you know, it's 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 definitely possible. So I'm working towards that. So this is definitely one of my steps of doing that, you know what I'm saying? Talking to you right now. Promoting yeah. Wow, yeah. boy, I, I didn't I didn't realize there was that type of money into it, boy. That's a whole nother thing. Yeah, they make, yeah. Bro, we producing. You gotta think about it, man. We we literally whipping it up for the world, you know what I'm saying? So all the producers out there, like, don't ever undercut or ever short yourself, you know what I mean? Um <clears throat> now, if you just start making beats a year, maybe in five five years, and you're trying to come out the game, I mean you ain't got no credentials and you trying to step in the game and charge twenty thousand, you may as well just chill out, you know what I mean? Because it ain't that type of game. You got to build your, your reputation, you know what I mean? You got to build your catalog because your catalog speaks for yourself. So once you got a catalog, you can say you can revert back to, hey, man, I produced this, 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 this. I deserve this type of money, you know what I mean? What are they going to say? You done got the work done. So who that's are how I look at it. Who are some of the people you produced for? Um, 
uh, Kevin Gates, um, of course, TK Kravitz, that's my main artist, you know what I mean? Um, Black Youngster, Fetty Wap, Lil Donald, um, Young Scooter, Damn. and Dolph. Sheesh. Uh, on BPZ, uh, Travis Porter. I can go back. I got a lot of shit. I right, think, boy, you, boy, you, boy, you done work with everybody, bro. I work with a lot of people. Now, I, I feel like you know it's crazy. I feel like I ain't work. I ain't, I ain't gonna see nobody. I feel like I got a lot, a lot of work to do, bro. Like sometimes I have to, I have to, I be stressed out. You know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out how to get to the next, the next point. You know what I'm saying? The next yeah. level. I feel like. Who is it that you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Uh, I haven't got one on Future yet. Okay. Uh, I've been working towards that. I've been working with Spins a lot. Um, working, working, trying to get a record with Future. Uh, okay. That one, that Future, that Future one. Woo! <laughs> I'm with little baby as well though. Yeah, little baby. Yeah. I'm with little baby as well. Little baby gone, you know. Little baby, me and little baby make definitely make something. What is your go to dog today? Huh? What is your go to dog today? Uh FL. FL student. FL specifically eleven. Eleven? Why eleven? Why? Why don't you? Why don't you want to upgrade? It, why do you want to stay on eleven? I hate, I hate twenty, bro. I hate it. I don't like the way it feels, bro. It don't feel like FL. It feels like a Able Ableton or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. It don't. What the hell is my man? I'm sorry. I, it doesn't feel like um. It doesn't feel like FL to me. It feels like uh. Some other type of dog it doesn't. It, it just don't. It, the, the feeling, the controls of it, the um, the speed of it, it the um, the sequence pattern, uh, the had the board. It, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So it's, it's even hard for me to to concentrate and make beat. Hey, yeah. So eleven. Hey, what's up, bot? Okay. What's your What's your vibe like? What does the studio got to be like when you're getting ready to record and go in there to create? You like to have candles lit. What what's the vibe has to be like for you to get in the zone? I gotta have some gas. <laughs> gotta have a gas. I gotta, yeah, I gotta I gotta have some gas. I gotta uh hmm, good energy. When I walk in the room, I don't wanna see people just long face and you know what I'm saying, good energy, no, you know, no egos, you know what I'm saying? I'm like ego. I don't like going into the room and Somebody feel like they're bigger than somebody else and shit like that. Like, bro, we all here. We all got families. We all got <coughs> households. Everybody, everybody trying to win for the win. You know, trying to get the W. You know what I'm saying? So, if 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 everybody has that in their mind, then I'm cool. I can go in any room and feel comfortable and be able to work and get shit done. But if I go into a room and I'm not, and somebody has that little chip on their shoulder, and feel like, hey, I'm better than this person, or I. Or I'm up, or I'm, you know, it's like, damn, bro, like, you know what it feel like to be broke, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, you know how, how, did, how did it feel when you first walked inside brother, of again. a record label? You say what, say it again? How did it feel when you first walked inside a record label? Hmm. The very first record label I walked in was uh, DTP. I think I was like 17 or some shit, 17, 18. I don't know, I was young. But this shit felt like home, felt like, yo, I could do this. You know yeah, I mean, I could do this. I could, I, this is what I want to do. This is it. I ain't, I'm not, I'm not going to work nowhere else. I'm doing this <laughs> shit. <you know? laughs> That's God and it's true, bro. So, you yeah. know. So man, like I mean, being over at DTP, walking in the building, seeing all those different plaques, uh, you know what I'm saying? You 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 had the opportunity to go, to go somewhere where a lot of people want to go, man, and a lot of people aren't going to be able to experience that. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely 
something special, you know what I mean? Did you ever say to yourself when you walked out of there, like, yo, I'm going to have me a plaque one day. We're going to have some plaques. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, and that's um, I thought of that um, maybe, like, the f literally, like, probably like the first time I actually seen a plaque, like, damn. I, I actually didn't even know what it meant all the way. But I knew I wanted one. I was like, man, that got to be cool to have your name and you know, a gold record or a plaque. That got to be cool. That's a, it got to be a great feeling, you know what I'm saying? And uh, my family's, like, real big on education, you know what I mean? So, and me and my brother, um, you know, we was working in the music business since we could remember since we was kids, you know what I mean? So that is our education, you know what I mean? Like, my brother's two times platinum, you know what I'm saying, type shit, like, you know what I mean, I'm gold, billboard chart and all of that shit. So that is our education. I, 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 he's very proud of it and I'm very proud of it. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're very proud of, of, you know what I mean? That's 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 our PhD, I should say. Yeah, you know? yeah. That's my... I mean, those, those are definitely... That means, I, that, means I, that means I know what the hell I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? That's my, I, that's my, that's my stamp. So, yeah, obviously, obviously. It, it, it definitely, definitely. So how, how does that work, man? Like, like you know, because I seen you when you um you went to Virginia, and um mm -hmm. you was holding up the plaque that you was a part mm -hmm. of, man. Like, mm -hmm. how how does that work? Like, do you just do they just say, hey, Exotic is a part of this as well? Or how does that process work? Well, I mean, I produced the beat. Me and Young Land made that was a plaque I got for Kevin Gates. So um, me and Young Land actually produced it. He got a lot of hits as well. He did Booty for Black Youngster and a couple other things. He got a lot of records, my boy. But um, we um, did the beat together. And um, so we both went gold actually together on that one record. You know what I mean? Um, so shit, we both got plaques. You know what I mean? I just actually stopped by his studio and seen our plaque sitting on his wall on, in the studio. So I was like, damn, like. That's cool, you know what I mean. I'm I I've been in Virginia, Richmond, Virginia, a couple of times just on tour, but not actually like to stop and go in the city and see. And guess what? The sit his studio is located on Broad Street, in 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 Richmond, Virginia. Though it's called Broad Street in Richmond, Virginia. Though, so I was like, wow, man, that'd probably be cool to open a studio in Broad Street in Augusta. Bro, I just learned something today. Shit, I thought I thought Young Land was living in Atlanta. I didn't know he he got a studio and he doing work in in VA. <laughs> Nah, I, nah, he still live here. He just, he just got a studio there too. Just, studio. I, that's what I thought. I said, damn, that'd be cool to get. That basic life. Man, but I've been telling, hey, I've been telling you that. What I've been telling you? Hey, I need to get a studio at a gust. Yeah, yeah, hey, I've been telling you that. You know what I'm saying? It's money. It's money to be made down here too. You know what I mean? And not only that, you know what I'm saying, people definitely, you know what I'm saying, I don't know other studios in Augusta, but I do know, like, quality, and I do know, like, the type of equipment that you, you have to really have to get that sound that you want, you know what I'm saying, and um, me opening the studio in Augusta, I think that'll be beneficial for the city to help, you know what I'm saying, just, to, just with the sound. People got sounds, that I like what's going on, you know what I'm saying, it's a new wave in Augusta, I, I peep, you know what I'm saying, I, I be seeing what's going on. It's you know a great, great new wave out here, it's bro. Young out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying, making music and I love it because I remember before we before us, people we thought it was funny, thought it was, you know, a joke to do music. Like didn't take it serious like that. Like they didn't take the artists serious. <clears throat> a couple of them got um a couple a couple of them got looks, but for the for the most part, you know, they wouldn't give them that that oh, okay, we fucking with it. You know what I mean? And for whatever reason, but now I feel like uh, other artists are gonna get the opportunities that you know what I'm saying that even um we missed on our way up you know what I'm saying through the city you know what I'm saying because it's more acceptable people are like okay this can actually work you know what I'm saying because for us the last artist to actually do something was James Brown like on a national international level you know what I mean he was huge he's a, he's an icon of course we don't compare but yeah. you know just for for those, for those many years, that that gap, there was a big gap before, you know, say after us, you know, what I'm saying it was other artists that were that were making waves, but I'm talking about hits, 
know what I'm saying, consistently, you know what I'm saying, dropping records, you know what I mean? So, yeah. that's all good. Man, how, how is it being a brother of an iconic artist? Oh, man, it's, um, it's a beautiful thing, you know? It's something that I always knew that TK was was uh had had that gift had that talent so me being the older older brother I had to just mold it you know what I'm saying yeah. help him whatever he need help with I don't give a damn if it's produce that's the reason why I started producing because I was like when I heard him rap I'm not gonna rap no more you gonna do that I'm gonna make your beat you know what I mean oh so you oh, wait man you you was rapping whatever that first? he need me to. I was rapping first. Yes. Oh, shit. I did everything first. What, what Soldier Boy said, what Soldier Boy said, I was the first rapper. To, yeah. <laughs> wow. Boy, but no, nah, I actually time. sucked. Yeah. Yeah, but I sucked, though. I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't no fire rapper. I was ass. It's videos of me on YouTube right now. I don't know. I'm finding them, but I was ass. Yeah. Man, it, it seemed like when y'all moved to Atlanta, like y'all whole life just drastically changed, bro. It did, like, man. You know, uh, I can think, I, like, one thing that I know that y'all were able to do when you moved to Atlanta, Georgia, was do birthday bash. Yeah. You know, yeah, one of the big birthday bash, 94. He can't yeah, bro, like, animal, bro. That's a whole nother. Whole another animal with this shit, this music shit. Like he's a whole. And, he, and the crazy thing is, like his trajectory is so crazy. Like where we know where this shit going. You know what I'm saying? By the grace of God, to where I just okay, let him do him. You know what I'm saying? Let him get because once he locked in, he like okay, I want to drop. This is what we gonna do. do, do, do. I just okay, bro. This what we, I'm backing you up. You know what I mean? So. And we always had that great dynamic. So even going and picking artists that we want to work with, you know what I'm saying? Me and him kind of both agree like on certain things. Like if you don't fuck with it, nine times out of ten, I ain't fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? If he like, all right, I fuck with this, you know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. If I'm fucking with it, if I bring him an artist, he'll do features and shit with him and you know, videos and shit with him for free. You don't charge him. TK can actually charge these folks money, you know what I'm saying? But he know that his brother got an ear, and if I believe in it, you know what I'm saying, he gonna back it up. So that's one thing I do like about, you know, having a brother who's an actual artist, you know what I'm saying, because we can make executive calls and make, make chess moves and shit, you know what I'm saying, we can make shit happen. I like that, I like that. Now, man, with you being a producer, man, I know, you know, you, you work with a lot of different artists. Is there anybody special that you're working with right now that the world needs to know about? TK Kravitz. TK Kravitz. <laughs> TK Kravitz. Um, outside of him, I probably say Seti Hendrix. Okay, you work with Seti. Seti Seti Hendrix. Seti, yeah. yeah, I got a dope. I got, I got a dope ass record with Seti about to drop. Matter of fact, I got some. I got a fucking hit with that nigga. You know, you all have your own personal it's, artist that you're working with right now. We know, we know you. Oh yeah. I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, man. We got all, I'm tripping. Stick go bang, stick go bang is he got fucking the hit. It's called Dior Down. Shit, actually, shit going in the clubs already up here. Slot. Matter of fact, I got seen their record like we started lightweight working it already, and she just picking up. Let's get caught. So him, Ole Newt, um, Q Dog, uh, uh, Kid Simmons. We got like. You know what I'm saying? We got like four artists, but right now it's really like TK and Stick right now. You know what I'm saying? But, TK and Stick. Oh, now, you've been, you've been talking a lot, a lot of big box, this kid Stick, boy. You keep talking major about him, so I already know he's going to be something big. Hey, stick stick got talking. it. Stick got it. Hey, hey you can actually, Millie too. Millie is another one. He going too. Millie, um, he's with um Trap Monster. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Trap, they're my people. Millie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, got down. Yeah, yeah, you another one. Um the young yeah, cats, bro, was, you know, that I was y'all was all my him at the strip club, wasn't y'all? Then y'all y'all did something at the strip club. I seen y'all together. Yeah, you met him with him. Yeah. 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 KOD, I think. TK say stick. TK say stick is the one. Stick I'm the one. To tell you. Uh -oh. stick. 
Uh-oh. It's the one. He K said it. Come on, bro. I'm trying to tell you. How did you how did you how did you meet Stick, man? Um, I met Stick actually Big Chris. <laughs> Stick was engineering, bro. Big Chris brought him into the studio. It was like, yo, he gonna start working with us, he gonna be engineering. And whenever my dad brings us artists, we be like, all right, we'll check you out, type shit. Like, all right, nigga, like, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But he would he didn't come he present himself as an artist. He was just in the other room, and then every day I'd be, I'd be in the B room, he'd be in the C room, and he'd be playing music and shit. So one day I was just like, who is that? Like, he was like, it's me. And I'm, that's how he talked, it's me. So I'm like, all right, cool. Um, come in his room. So he started playing this shit. I played it for TK. And we both agree, like, yo, this nigga, he got it. You know what I mean? He, he got it just from the look, his attitude, his, he got actual vision. And that's what I measure in the artists as well. I look and see if they kind of know where they want to go before I want to work with them. A lot of times, a lot of people, they don't know. They don't know where they want to go. They don't know nothing. They just, I know how to rap. I ain't looking for a mother who just know how to rap. I'm looking for somebody who knows where, hey, this is where I want to be. And this is, how, this is the way I feel like we can go get it. You know what I'm saying? I need you to back me up. Pour gasoline on on the fire, make the fire bigger. That's what I need you for. I don't need no artist like, give me, give me, give me. I need an artist already. Hey man, we got a video shoot this day, this day. I need you to help me with this shit. You know what I mean? Those are the artists I'm looking for because the ones who gonna actually get it because they got a vision. They just trying to finesse their way through. You know what I'm saying? You gotta help them finesse their way. You gotta kind of quarterback that shit. If you got these plugs over here, you open up, you open that network up to them. Oh, so, you know that's really the main key of of actually. Maneuvering this shit, just you know your network, use it. Yeah. Now, one thing I know about yeah. you, man, from knowing you, is you the only person that I know that has a career in the A, but never would stay at his house. You always stayed at the studio, man. Why is it that you just live in the studio so much? So when I really, I can't, it, it, the phone went dead. I mean, well, I said, one thing that I know about you, you always had a crib in the A, but you never stayed at your crib. You always stayed in the studio. What made you want to just be at the studio and live in the studio and never sleep? Because I know that, okay, um, when you go on binges like that and just work, like, yo, I'm just going on a straight work binge and that's it. Like, when you when you motivated that way, a lot of stuff tends to speed up. You know what I'm saying? You jumped the line like that. So when you kind of, you know, chilled and going with the flow, yeah, you might go to the studio one day and get in the right artist and look up and boom, you got a single, now your shit on radio, then boom, you hit the beard. You, it's the ching moment now, you know that shit, you about to get some money. You know, but then it's, it's those times where you just go in the studio and you're relentless on making your goal happen. And when you, when you approach it like that, t stuff's, tends to speed up, you know what I'm saying? You're able to kind of jump the line and able to, you know, acquire things that you thought you may never have because of the work. So um, I just approach this shit like a motherfucker would approach boxing, a boxing ring or, you know, approach it like um, somebody would approach, you know, um, anything, you know what I'm saying, that they're passionate about. So that's kind of like how I approach my music. I just treat it like it's a sport and stay in that motherfucker until I get strong. I like you know. that. I like that. Man, where do you want to be at in the next two years? Where do you want to be at in this game? Uh, by the grace of God, alive. Um, uh, I want to be, I want my family to be here. I want to be uh, in the same mind, um, focused still. Um, um, more successful, healthy, um, uh, just families taken care of more, you know what I mean? Um, uh, being able to push the limits on my music, being able to see my brother uh, reach new heights, you know what I'm saying? Just to be here to see all of that, you know what I mean? And what about... Look, um... What about movies, man? Do you want to get into doing any movies, acting or anything? Um, I don't know. I never really think about being an actor. I'm more, um, I'm more, I will be more, I'll be more into getting into like movie scoring. Okay. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, I think I, I think I'll fit better in doing that. I think I'll, I'll be. I think I have more to offer than that in acting. I don't think I'll be good at acting. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> he said he won't think he'd be good at acting. Hey man, you, you never know until you try it. You, you never know. You you might shock yourself. You know what I mean? I might. What, I don't um, know. What about clothing brands? You know, a lot of people they get in the game and they do the producing. You know, like Kanye dropping the brand clothing brand. What about that? Yeah, that's dope. I mean, I'm in the fashion. I like, I like, I like the dress. I mean, I'm not. Yeah, I'm in the fashion. I like, I like, I, I like nice stuff. Um, I like to partner though with other brands too, though, because I don't like to pay for shit no more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I ain't, I ain't got that luxury. I still got a paper shit. No, I don't like the paper <laughs> shit. If I ain't got to, I'm trying to, hey, how can we partner? Somebody, a brand hit me early. I'm like, yo, I can get TK and get shit. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, whatever. They will send boxes and boxes of shit. And we just be, hey, this is dope. You know what I mean? And that's a, that's, that's a blessing. You know what I mean? We haven't done it in a while, so I'm trying to, look. I'm like, okay, let's see. Okay, let's do this shit again. You know what I mean? But, yeah, that's, that's, that's a beautiful thing. But, I, I will get into that. I got matter of fact, y'all check out Block Huggers. Um, my cousin aunt got a fire a fire clothing line it's called Block Huggers. Make sure y'all check that out. And then all the entrepreneurs too on here. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, check out my boy Reggie Store. Uh, Came from uh, nothing. Middleton. Came from yeah, nothing. Yeah, check out his. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I I'm fucking with. He gave TK some uh, some gear for his video. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, yeah, check out the store I was telling you about, Shalit Store, Milk Gal. Check out that. It's a, um, it's a beauty bar down there in Augusta, too. Check out that. Uh, all the entrepreneurs down there, all the young entrepreneurs doing their thing down there. Uh, Reggie, actually, um, um, I think he got another store. I, what I heard, I'm not sure. Um, but if he do shit, bro, that's what's up. You know what I mean? Um, uh, who else? Shut up! I'm trying to think. Did you, did you shout out your aunt store? Is it your aunt or your cousin? Yeah, yeah. Shout it out. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, who else? Uh, so man, it's, it's so many man. So many people got stores and stuff down there that's booming, man. I, I'm if I ain't shout you out, you know what I'm saying. If I've been to your store, I apologize. But shout out to everybody in Augusta. You know what I'm saying, entrepreneur and. and actually making a city thrive, you know what I'm saying? Black entrepreneurship, you know what I mean? That's it, fucking beautiful, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like years ago, it wasn't like that, you know what I mean? It, it wasn't. Now, you know, it's a, no, bro, it's a new way. Hey, you know bro, we got, a, we got an indoor flea market like in Atlanta, where be you popping? Yeah. <laughs> hey, when I, went, when I went in there, all I could think about was like, oh, man, this reminds me of the A, boy, like the one in the A, like, we coming up out here, bro, yeah. for real. What do you enjoy yeah, eating? That's what's up. Um, I just left Escobar. That's one of my favorite spots. Um, I like uh, ooh shit. I like a lot of food. I ain't gonna lie. I, I eat a lot of different foods. Um, Man, you 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 can like a lot of food, but it's only one favorite that you enjoy the most. We we all got that Man. one we enjoy the most. What food you think I like the most? Shout out Braided Stallions. Matter of fact, entrepreneur Braided Stallion, my girl is the. Come here real quick. Uh oh, TK says some boiled chicken and rice. Boiled chicken and rice from my mama, facts. Okay. There it is. Look, your brother had to let you know. <laughs> she got her business popping as well. Yeah. yeah. What's the question? Yeah. Um, what's your favorite designer of choice? What's my favorite designer choice? Huh? No, oh, well, they, well, it's not designer, but well, she said Zara, but <laughs> it is my favorite. I do like Zara, but designer. Zara. If I got, if you go my club, Zara. A lot. Oh, well, Gucci. She said Gucci. 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 Okay. I got more Gucci. Now Zara, that's the store in the mall, right? Yeah. Yeah, because we went in there one time. Yeah, you, you can't tell Atlanta. We went in there. T T you know. TK. This is all I got up now. <laughs> hey, man, I can't, I can't, I can't never go on the shopping spree with y'all again because we be in the mall all day. 
Yeah, man. But now that my brother, boy, that fool, boy. But see, I used to like, um, I used to, I used to, um, ESR is it for me. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about all that Gucci shit. I don't give a fuck about all that shit. Yeah. I got some, I ain't gonna lie, I got designer shoes and some designer pieces, but for the most part, I don't care about it. I can be in Zara and be cool and be comfortable. Yeah, I done seen you in them designs. I done seen you in the Balenci's. I done seen you in the Gucci. Yeah, I done seen you in all your designs. Do yeah, I do my thing when I can do my thing. <laughs> Definitely load it up, man. Well, no doubt, yeah. man, we're reaching towards the end of the hour, man. I'm going to let you get to it. Okay. I know you, you got your lady there with you, and I know you you craving yeah. to get back in the lab. You got some things to work on, man. I just wanted to chop it up with you, King, because you know what I'm saying? You left Augusta, and you and your brother, y'all both made a major impact in the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's only right that we had to recognize y'all. You know what I mean? And it's just the beginning because uh, I know y'all still got a lot more work to do. You know what I'm saying? So I just had I to get you. We stand, stand strong and diligent, and and what I hear say, oh, you know what I'm saying? This game wins a lot of snakes and sharks, and we just it's crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> strong, and you got, and people don't realize how strong you got to be in this shit, but you do. But you got to be strong. You can't be no weakling. So you know, I appreciate you for even for even recognizing that. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. So that's real, brother. You know, no, 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 and no, no, no. I, I appreciate it. But all you've done. But to help with our situation, our, our success. Man, we still working. This, Appreciate this is that. the beginning, bro. We still, we still working. We still got oh, more yeah. doors to knock down. We ain't done. We ain't yeah. done, bro. <laughs> we, we still working and trying to trying to break down barriers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh my. All right, man. I'm gonna let you go once again, Thanks. man. Before we before I let you go, go ahead and throw out all your social media to everybody so they can follow you. Hey, man, y'all platform. follow me at. At Exotic Music Chris, that's E X O T I C M U Z I K Chris um, on Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, Exotic Music, Crabbers Gang, ENT, or something like that. Chris, um, uh, follow my Beat Stars page. The link's going to be, it's not up right now, but it's going to be back up in the morning. Uh, so just click the link in the bio. Until then, um, shit, if you want to get a hold of me through social media, through DM, just hit me through DM. Um, I'll get back with you in a timely manner and shit. Let's work. So you ready to work. You ready to work. If you're serious, you want to get some it beats, holla at him. You heard what he said, hit the DM. You sure. try to work with these beats. Let's go, man. He got billboard hits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is a billboard charting producer that we talked to right here. Yeah, this ain't this ain't no, somebody no. that ain't been on billboard. He ain't been on billboard. No. So okay. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> okay, we yeah, you do it like that, boy. Oh, shit. Not yeah. the views. Not the views. Before we get out of here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, hey. And on that note, that's how we're going to ride out. Just like that, bro. Big City Radio. For sure. All love, my guy. Be safe, man. All right, man. DJ Sly, D DJ Sly, hey, DJ Sly, D DJ Sly, hey.